And, uh, the administration uh, of um, President John Evans Atamuz and uh, his uh, uh, Vice President Mahama came into power, uh, you seem to be wielding a huge broom. Uh, you promised, frankly, to clean corruption out of uh, the Ghanaian system. Can you give us uh, a report card on that? How far have you gone so far? Well, one of the president's um, principles in the fight against corruption is to lead by example. And so he's maintained his integrity, and um, he hopes that people will take that as an indication on how we should uh, uh, lead. He continues to remind ministers, you know, about their duty to the people. And he continues to emphasize that if anybody goes, you know, out of line, he will, he has the courage to deal with him and deal with them effectively. So I think that that in itself shows the commitment to. But Ghana has a lot of checks and balances and a lot of uh, uh, legislation and others that institutionalize accountability. And I hope that our citizens will make more use of those processes. Mm -hmm. I don't say that citizens should go and look for evidence. They don't have the capacity to look for evidence. But if they think that something has gone wrong, they must find the courage to report it you know, to an institution you know, that can look into the allegation mm -hmm. and find out if there's evidence. And if there's evidence, you go ahead and uh, deal with it. You know, unfortunately, we have taken to just making wild allegations, you know, and it makes it difficult to, to deal with. The allegations should be made to the correct place so that, you know, they can be taken up and investigated to find out whether there's any substance to them or not. If there's substance to them, then we go ahead. We have the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice. We have the Economics and Organized Crimes uh, 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 Organization. You know, we have the police force. We have, you know, so many other institutions where allegations of corruption can be uh, referred to. But I must say that we have made progress in terms of uh, and uh, anti-corruption because Ghana continues to go up in the transparency index. The only way you can measure corruption is by perception. And so if we are making progress in terms of our ranking mm -hmm. in the transparency index, then it can only mean that we're making, you know, some forward movement.